the game. And tough in Greensboro, though. And, and that doesn't show the great defensive ability of Duke. And uh, they'll be tested tonight with Syracuse and their offensive power. Abdel Nabi will go up with Leron Ellis. Number one and number six. And the tap's controlled by Coleman. Quickly to Owens. Up to Johnson for two. Did I say explosive? It's not the dome either. Straight up man to man. Stevie Thompson's going to pick up the freshman Bobby Hurley. Abdel Nabi swallowed up. Can't get the roll. Owens comes in to take a rebound. Steve Thompson, a forward the last couple of years, moved to point guard. Billy Owens on the cut to Thompson and late for the quick hands as Thompson looked for Coleman. Henderson on the break. Little pull up. Loose ball. Henderson goes to the floor. Johnson with it. Allison Coleman a two on one. Alice leaves it. Coleman got it. Nice slide by Bios. Early trying to pick the charge up. One quick insertion, Mike. Everybody forgets about Syracuse. They play pretty good man-to-man -man defense. Is Johnson with the steal. Outlet to Owens. Duke back this time. And Owens slows it up. Johnson at 6-4, the smallest starter. Johnson will take it. Can't get the jumper. Owens there on the weak side. Back up, no. Rebound. Out of the pack, Bricky. He's got Hurley and Henderson. Finds Henderson. He got two. We're going to see some points and some highlights. Both clubs will push it. Traditional fast break. Coleman look inside. Derek puts it on the floor. A little pull-up goes down. Expanding new horizons for his offense. Legitimate candidate for player of the year, Derek Coleman is. Amen. Down the right side. Screen away and a slide by Leitner. Left handed with Leitner to foul to Ron Ellis, who claimed Leitner was holding off. But... And the round may be correct. Christian extended that arm. Right here, you see him go to the goal. I, I was talking to Billy Cunningham, and you see the arm going out. NBA will call that about Leitner. Great attitude for the game. Just goes after it and applauding the call. Ellis is first to transfer from Kentucky. Of course, he can play immediately because of the probationary status of Kentucky. Great numbers for Christian Early. 89% free throw shooter. You don't want to put Duke in the line. Oh, they got 100% Bill McCaffrey. They're terrific. Thompson comes in for a rebound. Hurley is well flawless from the charity strike. Johnson comes out. Good slide at high post. Home and high. Ellis, tough shot. Air ball. Leitner, not able to save it. Stepped on the line. Leitner's got his work cut out from That's going to be, they just don't have the bench. Mike Krzyzewski really struggling with injuries and academic casualties. I thought the wing pass would be a tough one. Let's see how Thompson handles it all night. Is it a great denial? Might do. Anderson aggressively out on Johnson. They can shut off some passing lanes. Owens puts it on the floor, takes it in for two. Years ago, the Knicks were very good, and they had guys that could handle the ball on the fast break. Bradley, Busher, same thing with this club. And they all can dribble, run the floor. Early found Abdel Nabi, who got swallowed up at the free throw line. Leitner gets doubled, skips it to Henderson, the open man, and he knocks down a three. Nice reaction by Leitner. Billy Owens paid for that double up. Thompson spinning on Hurley, takes him in, gets the finger roll. Mm. Boy, Syracuse, if this is any, any indication, is just going to ram everything in close. And Bobby Hurley's going to have to make the stand and really draw that body as Thompson overpowered him. David Johnson called off the ball.
Leitner gets it into Hurley. Abdul Nabi travel. Playing within yourself, so key. Mike Krzyzewski saying, shoot it or dish it off. There's Mike's buddy, Pete out dead. Not with him for the first time. The assistant coach had a death in his family, so condolences to him and his beloved. But Mike's going to miss him 12 years together. Ellis put it on the floor. The runner won't go. Johnson there, weak side. Back up. No. Thompson tried to keep it alive. Tipped out of bounds. Syracuse will keep it. That's where they're tough, Mike. If they miss, they've got great position with their speed. And then, of course, the ability to elevate. Syracuse, all 10 of their points in the paint. Thompson is blocked on Hurley. What do you think, Michael? Uh, boy, he set him up. like he guessed right. Set him up beautifully. Pretty. Uh, he's moving, though. You can be moving. Oh. As long as you're in the dribble path. 10-6, <laughs> Syracuse. If you're like me, you appreciate value. Whether it's in fine shine or a luxury car, that's why you should explore the values available now at your Buick dealer. Regal is Buick's best-selling coupe. Century, the best-selling Buick sedan. Two ways to discover the value of Buick. Ranked among the most trouble-free American car companies. Lots of dealers promise value, but they're not selling Buicks. Cash in on quality now, during Buick's Great American Quality Days. Of course, nice dish to Henderson, but Hurley made it by filling the lane. And the other end, Billy Owens, we mentioned at the open, the different things he can do, the ability to beat you in so many ways. Now the slide by Leitner and the easy finger roll. Billy O can play. Syracuse by four in the ball, just under 16 minutes to go here first half. Good help by Ala Oblanati. But Dirk Holm did a good job sealing off on Leitner. Oh. Thompson looking for Ellis. Now looking for Owens. He finds him inside. Double pump won't go. Johnson keeping it alive. Tipped out of bounds. Good ball. You've got to think, though, this inside punishment will wear. Jimmy Beheim has uh, so many people that can go after it on the glass. Early the walk up for the first time. Catch our breath. Henderson looking to go on Owens. Leans in, doesn't get a call. Abdul Nabi, good job. Coleman picks up a foul. Ala Abdul Nabi whacking the offensive board. Pretty good non call on Henderson's jumper as he was looking for the contact. Right here, the initiating the contact, a la from Bluefield, getting himself in position, and Bowman just getting a piece. Stevie Thompson's been impressive handling the ball. So far. And other than the play that got Mike Krzyzewski upset, where I thought Bobby Hurley had pretty good position, he's gotten it to the right spots. will drill you at the free throw line if you let him. This is going to be a, a good ball game for Syracuse. They're not used to being away from the dome in December. So uh, Jimmy's going to find something out. Owens pops out. Short with the jumper. Abdul Nabi up big for the rebound. Duke a chance to tie. Hurley finds Bricky. Bricky, tough shot. Long with it. No one's is there. He starts to break. Numbers. Syracuse four on one. Ellis, oh, ho, ho, ho. nice move to run. Nice choice, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh. Well, they do come at you in a wave. All five of the Syracuse starters have scored. A demanding game for the inside people of Duke. They got to compete on the glass and then make sure they get back. Ricky Powers, Coleman got there for the block, but Abdul Nabi again blocked. Second time, no. Tipped on the other side. Henderson a big rebound. Thompson takes it away. Again, Syracuse got some numbers on the break, and Ellis couldn't handle a pass. Just a little high by yep. Stevie. Boy, they all can get him up and down. They're going to be changing shoes at halftime, Syracuse. Great Kubak is going to be the first sub in the game, and now Billy McCaffrey will follow him in. Well, unfortunately for Mike, with 
Joe Cook and Crawford Palmer out. They just don't have the inside substitute, so the big guys are going to be pulling those trunks all night. You look at Bobby Hurley and Billy McCaffrey, and you swear they snuck into this game. <laughs> uh, it looks like they served at your mess, huh? Thompson, two on one break with Owens. Owens fakes the pass, missed the layup. Thompson missed the follow, and Lake is there. Hurley the other way. And Coleman kicks it off the scoreboard. Another kick. Well, we saw one the first half. But you saw Hurley trying to throw the right pass. The bounce pass would have been the home run for them. And Jimmy Beheim probably concerned about not finishing breaks. Michael Edwards, a freshman guard for Syracuse, checks in and Johnson goes out. Hurley. Rebound Coleman. Here's the freshman Edwards. He distributes well. That one is kicked away. Now that was thrown into the leg. I'm not so sure that's a kick. And it, it, it hits the foot. But when the man throws it at your leg, uh, Edwards helped him to Temple game. Nice in bounds. Thompson inbound. for two. Mm. Luke not alert. Edwards is going to pick up early. Leighton with the screen outside. Leighton gets it back. Near steal, Thompson, McCaffrey. Edwards ran without the ball. Kubek. Abdul Nabi coming up big here in the first He's half. He's reacting beautifully on that weak side, understanding and really reading the delivery of his teammates. Syracuse by four. Edwards against Rutgers played very well when they played a little bit smaller. Billy Owens leans in. A travel is called. Gets a look out of Jim Beheim. And Billy, a little pump fake. Threw the officials off. Manning in the game now. Well, he's just, he has surrounded himself with some great talent. He's recruited them. He's won with them. Exciting final four with Indiana. And some talent. You don't want to play this club unless you've got some studs. Picked off by Billy Owens. Ricky and Angle. And he got it. Great block by Bricky Owens dishes. Thompson misses a dunk. But a foul is called by Joe Mingle. They got Hurley on the floor. Maybe a non-shooting foul. This is a mistake by Billy Owens. He should have gone hard all out to the goal. And terrific recovery by Duke. And right there to get Hurley on the reach. Not shooting foul. Second on Bobby Hurley. McCaffrey the save. And he really didn't have to save it, Mike. Would have been their ball. McCaffrey moves on Edwards. Finds Leighton. Looking to get involved. Won't get the roll. Coleman a rebound in the middle. Edwards. Looking around to see who's with him now. There weren't too many on the shirt. Taking a blow. They deserve one. Manning skips it inside. Owens down low, a finger roll. Uh, they run great high-low stuff against man and zone. You mentioned Manning, six foot ten, making the pass to the low post. He goes out after Leighton. And Manning, a block on the baseline, picks up his first foul. Fourth on Syracuse. Maybe more numbers on the bench than Jim Beheim's had in recent memory. A lot of good talent waiting. Didn't get in, yeah, didn't get in fast, man. Yeah. Just a step late. McCaffrey up with the pressure on Edwards. Oh, 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 oh. showed the ball. He sure did. how open he was. Missed the jumper. McCaffrey gets it out to Kubek. Ricky was looking for an alley-oop. Leitner skips through the lane. Didn't get the layup. Tipped away. Comes to Thompson. Ahead to Edwards. McCaffrey's got an angle. Edwards got a buck. Well, they do come out look very fast break conscious. And Duke unable to get the big guys back. And in its old guard defense, it's usually only one. Henderson to call the play. 11.22 to go first half. Syracuse by eight. Very good shooter by the way, McCaffrey. Inside to Leighton. They got 
Coleman, his second. Mention Beheim had Ellis up for him as well. Ellis and Johnson will come in. So will Abdul Nabi. We'll be back. Syracuse up eight. Some people think only foreign companies build quality cars. Now, according to an independent survey, an American car company offers you a choice of some of the most trouble-free cars you can own. That American car company is Buick. And the 1990 versions of those American cars are Buick LeSabre, Buick Riviera, and Buick Electra Park Avenue. Cash in on quality now during Buick's great American quality days. The last time he gave up, this time he won't get the chance. When two legends come together. Le gané una vez y le voy a ganar de nuevo. From different worlds. This time, you better come to fight. Talk is cheap. Lo voy a mandar a la dona pa siempre. When the bell sounds December 7th, the truth will be told and actions will speak louder than words. Uno Mas, the deciding battle between Sugar Ray Leonard and Roberto Duran at the Mirage, Las Vegas. And now, Budweiser presents the main event. The spectacle of Pole Week returns. Two surprising teams clash when Steve Spurrier leads Duke against Texas Tech at the All-American Bowl. Penn State's Blair Thomas and BYU's Ty Detmer set off an offensive explosion at the SeaWorld Holiday Bowl. And surging Clemson tries to shut down Major Harris and West Virginia at the Mazda Gator Bowl. The sight, sounds, and spectacle of Bowl Week is live on ESPN. Welcome back to Greensboro to the ACC Big East Challenge. The second seeded teams going at it. Duke and Syracuse. Syracuse the edge right now, 18 to 10. Mike Gorman along with Bill Raftery. Lots of people wondering whether or not this challenge week would meet expectations. Surpass. No arguments from us here. We have had great basketball games here in Greensboro. Still more to come at the Meadowlands tomorrow night. Georgetown, North Carolina. Virginia and Villanova yet to play. Henderson unable to convert outside. Edwards has been a mystery with the ball a couple of times. Manning will jump hook. Won't get the bounce. Delon Ellis is there. Tipped away out of bounds. Syracuse will keep it. McCaffrey really with those quick hands in there. But, but Syracuse, Syracuse getting two, three shots. That's though. right. They've had a lot of opportunities. Stevie Thompson looks to penetrate. Gets swallowed up by Kubek. McCaffrey and Henderson on the break. Ricky, the trail of McCaffrey gets it. I think it's great defense, Mike, but I think it may have been a walk. Took the ball and then fell to the floor. But that's where Duke's going to have to do a job. They're going to have to make Syracuse be a little more patient. They're getting those quick hitters. Thompson posting up inside. His fall away goes down. There's your point guard, huh? Yeah. In a low post. Right? The five man right now. Derek Coleman and Billy Owens both over at the scorer's table looking to get back in. Ricky into Johnson, and Johnson picks up another foul in second. That was an alert play by Robert Ricky. He knew he had him up. Marty Blake does a service for the NBA where they evaluate players for the pros. And his sheet, in looking at it, he says, you don't want to play Syracuse. But here, Bricky initiates the contact. Johnson upset. And that's what you like to do as an offensive player. You see the guy up, take advantage of him. Very understanding, isn't he? Looks like the professor over there. That's the official. He very politely told had a horrible call the last time he went by. And told him a few spots to go. But charming when necessary. Because Bernie Fine alongside of him has done a masterful job of recruiting. I mean, that's the name of the game. You got to get great players. Ian Wayne Morgan out in the road all year, getting kids from all over the country. Read down that Syracuse roster right now. Somebody's got a ton of frequent flying a mile somewhere. Ooh, I like that time change, huh? That West Coast time change. Caffrey now up on Steve Thompson. A near steal by Kubek. Ron Ellis finds Thompson. Thompson just jumps over McCaffrey. Won't get the foul. Abdul Nabi again. Fourth rebound for Allah. McCaffrey can make it. Not this time. Ricky Weekside is there, and he traveled with it, going over Abdul Nabi. Yeah, that's tough break for Duke. 
very tough break. Now McCaffrey, from what we're told, expect him to nail it. And Mike saying, good shot. Leitner and Hurley coming back in. McCaffrey sits down. Here's Thompson to run the show. Owens looks inside. Thompson's going to post Hurley to a foul on the way up. I think Henderson come over to help out, but uh, no secret, a lot of weapons. Stevie Thompson exploiting the size differential right now on Bob Hurley, which is where that weight and strength as the next year and the junior year go on. Bobby Hurley will be able to chest up and bang people a little bit more. Stevie Thompson, at least relatively quietly, has had a brilliant career in Syracuse. Great college player and uh, Mike Gorman, the free throw line. Stevie gets a rash. Coleman there for the miss, though. And he got fouled by Leitner before the shot, I believe. That's a killer for Duke. You got to expect and know the percentage of the free throw shooters that alertly react on a miss. First on Leitner, fourth on the team. to me off air Duke looked a little bit tired and Syracuse if anything the zone might give them some trouble Rutgers did it Temple did it of course they play a lot of that matchup but Mike Krzyzewski a man a man guy boy that'll get you well though huh mm -hmm. sure will nice pull up off the bounce six points for Billy Owens nine points Syracuse lead nine ten to go first half To the top to Abdul Nabi. Hits a jump hook. Not bad. He also had Leitner as a choice. He leads Duke with six. David Johnson the other way. Comes up firing for two. Less than five second retaliation. <laughs> Even though who else like that? Leitner skipped through. Coleman wisely with two. That's what staying in school does for a lot of guys. They really get to understand. Time clock situation. Seven point game. Syracuse the lead in the ball. Thompson can't get it down and couldn't control it underneath. A lot of opportunities wasted by the Orange Men. Brian Davis, 6'6 six, six, sophomore, makes his first appearance in the Duke lineup. Coaches are really working the officials. Henderson looked to pop out on one side, and Davis comes on the other. That was a pretty good post defense on Leitner. Abdul Nabi spins over. Rebound Coleman. Outlet to Johnson. <laughs> Terrific kick. Johnson wants it himself. Won't go, but a follow by Thompson. That's your point guard, folks. He is extraordinary. You're right. He's had. Not as quiet to us, but to outsiders, a marvelous career. Henderson looking to create. Abdul Nabi short with the jump hook. Coleman takes down a rebound. Owens on the break. He's got some help. Billy the pull-up. No, Leitner is there. Slapped away out of bounds, and it's going to be Duke Ball. Billy Owens may have gotten away with one there. Got to make that pull-up on that foul line. We've got a timeout. The Syracuse lead is nine with seven and a half to go first. Let me summarize for the newcomers. Flying coach, that's hard. New Bush Light is easy because it's cold filtered to make it very easy drinking. New Bush Light is easy. Losing your car keys is hard. So make the easy choice. Equipped with radar, it can shoot anything. And with digital superimpose, it can document the hit. The new VHS camcorder from JVC. We just made recorded history again. Once you consider the complications of other camcorders, the best plug for JVC is no plug at all. It fits right in your VHS VCR. JVC, we just made recorded history again. A Z, it'd be silver. No, black. And I'd take it to a racetrack. Hold it. Nah, drive it cross country. That's what I'd do.
Germany. Yeah, now that'd be epic. Running a Z flat out on the Autobahn. Too bad you can't drive to Europe. We are back to look at the storyline. As you mentioned off the top, Bill, Syracuse a better defensive team than people give them credit for. You forget because of all the flair of their offense. The offensive rebounds right now, not able to finish, which should give Duke some hope. But th this particular challenge is incredible for the ability to showcase for the rest of the year the level of play of these teams. I mean, high pit. This is the, I think, best play. And there's been great competition and close games, but just the extraordinary level early on. Thompson out to meet Hurley. Over the top to Leighton. Good pass. He leaves it for Abdul Nabi. Missed it. Lost it on the way up. Trying to get the dunk. Henderson the steal. Thompson the re-steal. Mm. Excellent inside passing by Duke. David Johnson down low. Tries to go up. Blocked by Leighton. Coleman right spot. Kisses home a hook shot. Very aware of position on the floor. Biggest lead of the night for Syracuse. It's 11 with 6.50 to go first half. Now, Abdel Nabi's got to be a help right now. They're going to get Coleman number three to give Duke some hope in the second half. And he gets Johnson in the switch. Henderson throws up a leaner. Johnson saves it in the corner. Dangerous way to pass it, but Coleman came up with it. Coleman to Thompson. Back to Coleman. Over to Owens. Major League fast break. You got that right. Great passing. Jimmy Beheim has them honed right now. 13-point <laughs> Syracuse lead. Slick. Very slick right now. Leitner takes it in traffic. Offensive foul. Christian Leitner oh. is second. That hurts. Let him play. Sliding by. I like to see a Mack truck hit them, and then they're down. Then it's a charge. When the guy's trying to slide by, and the guy falls to the floor. Make believe he disappeared. Abdul Nabi now goes to the Duke bench, and Duke is real small out there, other than Leighton right now. Though. Well, all his problems are up front. The ability to sub with injuries and academic. Oh, and second straight dunk. And Mike wants the timeout. He needs one. 57 to go. Syracuse is rolling. Fine items were purchased with Visa cards last year, but not paid for. They were won in the Visa Our Treat sweepstakes. Now all you have to do to enter is use your Visa card. And almost anything you buy just may be our treat. And the more you use your card, the more chances you have to win. So why pay with anything else? What's it like to be in Magic Johnson's shoes? It's seeing 19,000 people scream and not hearing a sound. It's the pain and the anger of the foul melting away until you're left standing one on one just you and the hoop and you feel it from the top of your head right down to the soles of your cons well mike the ability to run the floor has always been a trademark of the cues and right here no dribble great pass and that's in the open floor. Thompson, Coleman, and Owens. And again, Syracuse with a lineup on the floor right now of Owens at 6'8", Manning at 6'10", Coleman at 6'10", Thompson at 6'4", who plays like he's 6'10", and Johnson at about 6'5", who plays like he's about 6'8". Over the top, Manning tips it away. Kubek got it back, won't go down, ripped off by Coleman. It looks to outlet, and here comes Thompson. Spin in top of the key, leaves it down low, and Owens will reset the offense. Good control. Looking for the alley-oop. Three. Coleman a three. Owens takes the rebound over the top, can't get it down. It's pulled down. Ricky ahead to Hurley. Thompson trying to catch him, and he did, but a goal tennis goal. Great release by Hurley, and then the look by Ricky. They're going to get some easy baskets. It's been a struggle. And this is the elevation of 
Stevie Thompson. And each, you keep mentioning he's playing point for Jim Beheim, but they got a lot of guys who can handle it, including this guy. Billy Owens, little runner in the lane. No. Leighton, good fight to keep it alive. Gets it to Henderson. Up to Hurley. Ahead to Bricky. Great look. And that gets the Duke fans alive as they cut it to 11. Not a bad timeout for Mike Krzyzewski. Near steal by Bricky. Owens finds Manning. Manning, whoa, soft touch. Richard Manning, his first basket. Leitner takes it in strong. He got a foul. Who did he get on? Manning. Leitner upset that he didn't finish. But you can see the heart of this Duke team. They're not backing off, playing very small, trying to give Abdelnabi a little rest. Now he's coming back in. Probably for Leitner to give him a blow. And again, down the end of the Duke bench, Crawford Palmer at 6'9", Clay Buckley at 6'10", both out with injuries. And right now, size is what Mike Krzyzewski needs. He's got a lot of suits down there. They don't help you at post time. Late is fourth point. Edwards comes in, Johnson goes out. Christian Leitner, who really came to national attention with a great effort over Georgetown to get through to the final four. He goes to the bench. Abdul Nabi comes back in. 4.33 to go, 11 point Syracuse lead. ACC Big East Challenge. The best week of basketball in the month of December. It's not a threat in months like January. <laughs> it is. Uh, this this really tops it, doesn't it? Coleman putting it on the floor. Pretty great look. And Thompson got a block down low, but Manning takes it back, and Owens the loose ball. Eric Coleman has to be careful on both ends. He doesn't want to go over the top and get the foul. Nice play. Excellent hand from Bobby Hurley. Owens has it slapped away out of bounds. Syracuse will keep it. 33 on the shot clock. Mike Krzyzewski up cheering his troops. Both coaches in midseason begging for him, aren't they? Jimmy praying. They're asking for any help. The Duke fans trying to rally their troops. Coleman. Blocking foul called on Ricky stepping in. I like the call. I like the call. I mean, everybody in the house wanted against Coleman. That would have been number three, but that's where he's got to be careful. It's a major league call. Moving towards the move and the grab. That Derek with 355. I get nervous with the two fouls, wouldn't you? Just the uh, 16 foul. Jimmy not looking to give him the hook at all. Into Owens. Little turnaround down and just going right over the top of Duke. Owens has 12. Not much you can do, but look to the bench. Good position, just out talented. Early. Slip for the move gets into the corner, but Edwards catches him. Pass is wild, but Ricky tracks it down. Pretty good lane shut off. I don't know. The foul was called on Billy Owens, his first. You never know that he wins 75% of his games. A little mystery call, though. Jimmy's become more theatrical. On television a lot now. You got to get a little shtick. No question. No question. Ricky is 68, 69% free throw shooter. His fourth point. He's got four. Leighton's got four. Henderson's got five. Malcolm Nobby's got six. Early and McCaffrey with two apiece. 331 to go here first half. Syracuse by 11. Early almost came up with a steal earlier. That was just got to protect it. And Edwards throws it away. Now Duke, Duke people were telling me that they. They knew Bobby Hurley was a very clever guard with the ball. They were impressed how good defensively he was getting in front of people. Well, St. Anthony's wins a lot on their offense, but they're a great defensive team. Bob Hurley Sr. teaches them. 
But the thing here, that's what concerned me with Syracuse, the denial of the wing pass by Duke. Can they make that entry pass? That time they did not. Because you got to contain the dribble to set that play up. Over the top, Abdul Nabi missed the hook. Those Ooh. are the kind that have got to get down. Ooh. That hurt. Mike Krzyzewski getting exactly what he wanted on that trip. Again, Bricky out trying to deny that pass to Owens. And they push you all the way out to the sideline. Owens has got his guy. Great work. Sure trying to convert it, though, instead of catching it. And Billy Owens picked up another foul, his second. So Manning, Johnson, Owens, and Coleman all with two fouls. Should have been a snatch, come down, and shoot it. That cost Billy Owens that number two. So Duke at the line, a chance to get this down to single digits, which you tell Mike Krzyzewski right now, he could win a locker room single digits, hit go. And be happy with it as Derek, the guy we were nervous about for Jim Mayhive, gets the hook to rest with the two, with 2.42 left. Kubek comes in, and Abdul Nabi goes out. He's shooting it before he is set. Just a couple. Of course, big guys will do that to you. They get up there and sort of swat that ball away. Ricky with his third straight free throw. Ten point game with 242 to go. Now Mike's kids over the years bang the floor when they think it's an important defensive set and get down and really deny the basketball. I'm curious to see if they do it on this one. This is a big little sequence for that. Number nine. No banging, but a little more extension. Thompson looking to go on Hurley. Takes it in the lane. Short, late into the rebound. Outlet Henderson. He's got Hurley and Bricky. Takes it himself. Bricky, the tip goes down. A lot of blue shirts. And Duke is right back in it at 36-29. comes to the ball. Slapped away by Kubek. David Johnson looks to take it himself. And he drew a foul from Henderson on the way up. All three officials had the same call. How long did he stay up? That was Michael Jordanisk. As he turned in terrific position defense. His ability to hover got Henderson. Yeah, he stayed up a long time between floors. <laughs> and we talked about how good Duke was at the free throw line. They're on a 12 4 run right now off that timeout. Derek Coleman coming back in. And Manning goes to the bench. As good as Duke is, Syracuse is bad. Uh, it is early in the year. Syracuse has struggled for years. They had some. Ellis is shooting 50 percent. Thompson 46 percent. David Johnson, who's about to shoot, shooting 50 percent. They've had hypnotists, shot doctors, you name it. Now they get the Duke students. <laughs> That's a tough one. Johnson calms it down. Now Jim Beheim early in the season, letting Derek Coleman come back in with a minute 59 left. Trusting his senior experience, so he has to be careful, and Duke should go after him. They're not the same team without Derek Coleman, obviously. And he shouldn't be ragging the ball back there. Caffer. Go to Holla. There it is. Knocks it in. Nice call, Bill. Eight for Abdel Nabi. 38 31, Syracuse. Playing Stephen Thompson's right hand. Surprised me. Forcing him back to the left. Owens looking to go on Brickman. Coleman in the paint. Little fall away. Good knock call. Allah. Trying to initiate a little excitement with the officials. McCaffrey took a walk as he tried to make his move. Central Catholic and Allentown. 
1.07 to play here, first half. Known as a shooter, Mike. Straight up. That's interesting. Gets around McCaffrey. The finger roll is short. Comes to Henderson. Stepped on the end line. That's a break for Syracuse, which now, should they want to, almost cut down for the last shot. 50 on the game clock, and they have a fresh 45. However, well, they have been very effective as looping these passes in the middle, and now they're going to pull it out. I think Jim wants one. Yeah, he's going to hold it. Six eight, handling the ball. Feed underneath, tipped away by McCaffrey out of bounds. Funny, the more upbeat the team, the tougher it is to hold for a last shot. They see the just goes against it every instinct. Mess it up. McCaffrey, the near field. Bill Rafferty, the nice save. Not bad. Still got the hands. <laughs> That's one of the few passes I've made too. Henderson going to the bench. Davis checks in for Duke. 24 now on the shot clock. 28, as you can see on the game clock. Barkley, they're counting. You better get rid of it. Looking for a cutter. Owens finally comes to the ball. 10 now on the shot clock. Seven. Owens slapped away out of bounds, and it's Duke ball with eight seconds to go. You're right. I mean, it just goes against the every instinct. It was very uncomfortable trying to take it down. Hurley and Henderson will check back in offensively for Mike Krzyzewski. And Michael, on this play, Circus is laying back, which gives him a chance to throw it up towards half court. And Hurley will probably let it roll without touching it. And they got, they got plenty of time. Hurley. And the dish goes off the hands of Owens out of bounds with two seconds. One more shot for Duke here, down nine. On the verge of getting busted out of here, Duke has climbed back in. They don't make a hoop here. And even if they don't, playing down nine is not bad. I throw it up to the goal and I'll go after it. Early. A leaner. Got it at the buzzer. Line cuts the Syracuse lead to seven at the half. Another look for the opportunities. No strange rims when you can shoot the ball. What looked like was going to be a feast for the Orange Men has turned into a game at the half. Syracuse by seven. Back to the studio, John Connor. Thanks, gentlemen. Freshman Bobby Hurley, who hit that shot at the buzzer, well, he chose Duke over Seton Hall. Michael Tate, well, he chose Georgetown over Maryland. So they have been competing for a long time as far as recruiting goes. Now they're competing on the floor. ACC has the lead, three games to two. But right now, Syracuse has the lead at halftime. Now, in game number one today, Providence faced Clemson as they tried to break the 2-2 tie. The Phantom Friar trying to get the Clemson Tigers going, or stop them, rather. Tyson on the break. Sean Tyson, look out. 34-32 at halftime. Back come the Friars, though. Eric Murdoch with the steal. Murdoch lays it in. The Friars lead by as many as four, but the Tiger front court awakened. Eldon Campbell off the miss, jams it in. 66-66. The Friars wouldn't quit. Quinton Burton, a three-pointer. He buries it, 71-70. 14 seconds left. Dale Davis, a 42% free-throw shooter, hits two from the line, 72-71. And Marty Conlon, the 6'10 Providence center, is taking the shot, the three-pointer, to try and win the game. It would not fall, 72-71. Dale Davis, I told you, 42%. He had been eight of 20 from the line, and he nails the game from there. Sean Tyson, 21 points for the Tigers. Now, the scoreboard looks like this in the ACC Big East Challenge. The ACC leading it with three wins. Georgia Tech knocked off Pitt in night number one. Last night, NC State took care of St. John's. Clemson tonight beating Providence. Connecticut beat Maryland for the Big East. And Seton Hall over Wake Forest in a game that went to overtime. We're tied, or it's rather three games to two. However, Syracuse has the lead at halftime over Duke. In other games tonight, the number two team in the nation in action. The Kansas Jayhawks facing SMU and the Mustangs. It'll be tough for the Mustangs. Jayhawks three-point range tonight. Terry Brown for three. 
Terry Brown again for three. And Kevin Pritchard, the outstanding point guard, does it as well, lets it fly. Roy Williams, Kansas Jayhawks up by 14 at halftime. Their defense gets it going. Pritchard with the steal. Freeman West all alone jams it in, and the Kansas Jayhawks have a big lead, 75 to 47. They started the season unranked all the way up to number two, and they could be 17 and 0 the way their schedule looks before they have to face Oklahoma State in Big Eight action. Hawaii Loa, they've already lost to Georgetown this year and now blown out by Missouri, 106 to 48. The finals. Doug Smith had 17 points, and Jamal Coleman had 16. Central Michigan facing the Wolverines of Michigan, the defending national champions, almost doubled them up, 100 to 51. Sean Higgins with 18 points, Ramil Robinson had 17 points, and Terry Mills had 17 as well. Stay with us. We'll have more scores and highlights. The Louisville Cardinals in action against the Commodores of Vanderbilt as we continue. We're at halftime, and Duke is down by seven to the Orangemen of Syracuse. Just because they act like monsters doesn't mean they have to look like them. The new Olympus Infinity Zoom 200. The zoom camera that significantly reduces red eye. It's just a pure and natural beer for you. So I see cold, so crisp, so clean for you. Of all the beers that are cold filtered, only one has that distinctively clean, crisp taste. Budweiser, cold filtered and beechwood aged for over 110 years. This Bud's for you. Some people see shaving as something you do for three minutes a day. At Braun, we see it as something you do for a lifetime. And we think you should make the best of it. The Braun Shaver, with its three shaving positions. Designed for those who choose to make a virtue out of necessity. Braun, the world's number one selling foil shaver. NCAA Basketball, the ACC Big East Challenge, is brought to you by Visa. It's everywhere you want to be. By blood, sweat, and cheers. Cons from Converse, the official shoe of the NBA. And by Nissan, built for the human race. Syracuse leading Duke at halftime as they try to get the Big East even because the ACC has a 3-2 lead. Elsewhere, Louisville in action against Vanderbilt. Post-CM New Newton era, Vandy coach Eddie Fogler in. And the Commodores get off to a tough start. Scott Droud with the air ball. Cardinals were clicking. Everett Sullivan steals. And then showtime all alone. 15 to nothing. Ron Felton Spencer pounding the glass. And then he sends this one down with authority. Cardinals athletes really get it going. Cornelius Holden steals. The other end of the floor. Let it go with the right hand. Then Jerome Harmon from LeBradford Smith. Watch Harmon. One hand. Jams it down, 101 to 75 is the final. The Cardinals ranked 11th, only have one loss this season, and that one came earlier at the Maui Classic. Northern Arizona facing Arizona. They may as well go home right now because they're down by 30 in the first half. The Wildcats, because they have struggled this year, losing two games in the Pac-10, but boy, they're clobbering Northern Arizona. Tennessee Tech and Kentucky. Kentucky sets two NCAA records, 18 three-pointers made, 41 three-pointers attempted. Derek Miller had 36 points there. Richmond and Virginia, and Richmond gets the win 66 to 54. Curtis Blair, a career high, 25 points. St. Joseph's, a loser to Rutgers, 75 to 58. Missouri, Kansas City, and Kansas State, and Kansas State has the big lead, 75 to 50 in the second half. Maryland, Baltimore County, a loser to the Bonnies of St. Bonaventure, 82 to 66. Robert Morris, a three-point win over Canisius, 68 to 65. The Titans of Detroit go down to Eastern Michigan 69 to 65. Towson State Tigers. Kirkley of Towson State had 27 points, including two free throws with 10 seconds left in the game to give Towson State the win. Dayton, the Flyers facing Miami, and the Hurricanes get the win by 5, 87 82. Akron zips against Kent State. Eric Glenn with 21 points for Kent State. They win 77 52. The Bowling Green Falcons and Wright State. The Falcons get the win 92 to 85. The Tigers of Princeton in a low scoring game with Iona, but they win 53 to 41. And the Baylor Bears over North Texas State, 78 to 67. Stay with us. We still have the second half action to come up between, uh, between Syracuse rather and Duke. 
Syracuse has the lead, 40 to 33. But first, here's a look at some more scores tonight on this Wednesday night of college basketball. And this is my main man, Michael Jordan. And this is a pair of pipes. Ed Jordan from Nike. This is something you can buy. And this is a patented, vicious, high flying 360 slam dunk. This is something you cannot do. Let me repeat myself. This you can buy. You cannot do this. Can, can, can. Uh huh. Uh -huh. and athletes competing in 18 championship sports. Sometimes you can tell by the way it looks. Sometimes you can tell by the way it feels. Sometimes it comes to you in broad daylight. Sometimes you find it in the middle of the night. But you know when you got the right one. This is the right one. You know when you got the right. Tango and Cash, two rival cops. You, you're the second best cop in LA. That's funny. I hear the same thing about you. Want to stay off my case? Nice tie. And they'd rather be doing anything than cleaning up crime together. Tango, I need a gun. Here. Oh wait a minute. Why is yours bigger than mine? Genetics. Sylvester Stallone and Kurt Russell, Tango and Cash, rated R. Starts Friday, December 22nd at a theater near you. If Syracuse can hang on and win, the ACC Big East Challenge would be tied at three games apiece going into tomorrow. The final day, the sixth seed Villanova and Virginia will play in the first game Thursday night. The Wildcats look to Tom Grice for the points and for the emotion, while the Cavaliers counter with last year's ACC Rookie of the Year, Brian Stitt. The nightcap will see the number two seeds. The third ranked team in the nation, the Georgetown Hoyas against number 17, North Carolina. The Hoyas display one of the best big men in the country, sophomore Alonzo Mourning. The Tar Heels have a balanced attack led by junior forward Rick Fox. Final day of the ACC Big East Challenge from the Meadowlands. Be sure and join Tim Brando and Dick Vitale for that. Right now, though, let's go back to Greensboro for the second half. The Syracuse Orange with a seven point lead. Let's join Mike Gorman and Bill Rasper. Okay, John, thanks very much. We got a game here at halftime, 40 to 33. We didn't think through part of that first half we were going to have a game. Syracuse got it cranked up early and really ran effectively. Uh, I thought they did a beautiful job running the floor, Mike. However, they didn't finish a lot of their sequences. Uh, just an extraordinary ability to rebound, run the floor. Obviously, they're very good in the fundamentals. They catch the ball well, they finish breaks. But I thought their inside play was ineffective and got Duke going. They're the fast break points. Billy Owens, a guy who can rebound and then take it himself. Uh, we mentioned him early in the game. He had ability to bounce to ecstasy. This time finding the hole and then sliding by the defender. Now points in the paint all belong to Syracuse in that first half. 32 to 18. And again, the rebounding advantage and the block shots early on. Syracuse just were playing above the heads of Duke. Well, you're going to miss some shots because these big guys guys he's they keep coming after you Michael and it's been tough for Allah Abdelabi although he did finish one late and again off to the races very well, effective. To, the, to the credit of Duke they hung in there and they started to pick it up themselves well, I think they needed these type of a great look by Hurley leading a nice bounce catchable pass they need these opportunities to get back in the game Allah Abdelnabi able to come back off the bench and got a couple of buckets down low 
And the stats from the first half pretty much in Syracuse's favor. Duke just 11 of 32, but Syracuse 19 of 42. That's a lot of shots in a half. Uh, and a lot of easy ones, too. And it's been simple basketball for Syracuse, but unable to finish. But Ala Oppelnabi might be the important guy, particularly if Derek Coleman is playing for him. I might try and get him that third right away. He's well, too powerful. That's the next thing I was going to ask you. A foul is going to tell a story in this game. Uh, they may, but fatigue more than importantly than anything, particularly for Duke. Okay, we'll see what happens here. Second half of the ACC. Big East challenge. The third night's about to come to a close. Syracuse by seven at the half. The 90 Chevys and Geos are here. And if you call sweating a lot hot, the competition sure is. Geo takes them by storm. Storm, the dazzling new Geo, making value history at 10705. Geo Prism from GM and Toyota lets you buy Corolla's Kiss and Cousin for $1,000 less. Chevy Lumina APV, so futureful it's made Ford sizzle fizzle. Chevy Blazer stampedes Bronco, and nothing comes near Corvette. Come see why Chevy's got them all hot under the collar. In my business, first impressions are often the only impressions. That's why I like these Ferris slacks with Process 2000. Process 2000 from Ferris. It keeps 100% cotton and fine wool blend slacks virtually wrinkle-free with little or no ironing. So if you want to look as good at the end of a busy day as you did at the beginning, Ferris for you. Process 2000, exclusively from Ferris, the day and S. From the D.C. Beltway through Tobacco Road to the hub of the South, winter means basketball in the Atlantic Coast Conference. The ACC has dominated NCAA play in the 80s with the most wins, most appearances, and the highest winning percentage of any conference. It's basketball at its best. The Atlantic Coast Conference. financing or special savings on 1994 Thunderbird. ESPN's NCAA Basketball, the ACC Big East Challenge, is brought to you by Ford and your Ford dealer. Have you driven a Ford lately? By Kendall Motor Oil. When you pour in the Kendall, you can really pour it on. And by Diet Pepsi. Shoot for the great taste of Diet Pepsi. Diet Pepsi, the right one. Back at the Greensboro Coliseum, Mike Woman, along with Bill Raftery, and we are set to go with the second half of the second seeded teams going at it in this ACC Big East Challenge. The Duke scoring leaders, Bricky at nine, Abdel Nabi at eight, Henderson and Leitner chipping in five apiece, and on the other side for Syracuse, Owens with a dozen, Coleman eight, Thompson eight, and Johnson with six. It'll be Owens, Coleman, Ellis, Thompson, and Johnson for Syracuse. Bricky, Hurley, Henderson, Abdel Nabi, and Christian Leighton set to go for Duke. What you look for her early here, Bill? Atlanta man, and I would like to see the ball go inside a little bit more. Maybe get Bricky involved, too. Oh, Picked it off by Johnson, who came right over Bricky's back. He They're anticipated it, didn't he? He heard you. He's a solid player, too. Lost in the luster of these fine Syracuse players. Bricky out on Owens. Ellis comes high. Leighton really helping down low for Hurley on Stevie Thompson. This Thompson trying to knife his way through. Coleman got the reject. Leighton got the rebound. Outlet to Hurley. He's got Bricky and Henderson. Oh. Finds Bricky. Just can't give enough credit to Mike Krzyzewski's club to be back in this game down five. Owens finds Ellis for an easy two. Good inside. They didn't get the rotation from out top, but they've got to get the easy basket. You saw Hurley for the second time. A nice catchable bounce pass. Let the guy run to it. Number three. Derek, Derek Coleman over the top. Ala Abdel Nabi. Got to hold him off. Now, this is where Derek's got it. Under 
understand his position, don't get another one. And Duke, conversely, I would try and get the big guy out. He's a force. Five fouls, not six in this ACC Big East Challenge. 2-3 zone on the out of bounds, although Jim Beheim may stay with it a little more. Leitner catches it over the top. Back they go to Bricky. Good move, couldn't get the layup. Leitner the follow, no. Owens the rebound. Up to Coleman. Behind the back, and Hurley saw it coming. And Bricky, hold on. The Duke fans are going wild. Johnson comes to the ball with Ricky in his shirt. Coleman nearly lost it, did, got it back. Finds Thompson, lines up three, short, well short. Abdul Nabi. Gets pushed by Ellis. And Syracuse, which looked oh so good about an hour ago, is on the ropes right now. They, they sure are. It. Well, the move of the 80s may be this big East ACC challenge. Uh, it doesn't take much to light it up, does it? Put some talent on the floor, people react. Early finds Bricky, skips through the lane. Two more. Six quick ones for Bricky. Three-point game. Stevie Thompson has to get it to the right spots right now. As the point guy. Ellis trying to put it on the floor. Leaves it for Coleman. Picked off by Abdul Nabi. Up to Hurley. Ahead, Bricky. What a play. Watson needs time. Hello, Duke. I couldn't imagine owning anything but a pickup. And from what I know about hauling stuff, I couldn't imagine owning anything but a big Ford. You see, this Ford's got a longer, deeper box that can handle a bigger payload than any Chevy it size. The big Ford pickup. Number one for all the right reasons. Maybe that's why more folks drive Fords than any other truck. The best built American trucks are built Ford tough. Kendall's the cool for your caddy, the juice for your jack. It's the jolt in your gold and what we do the track. You want to add life to the life of your car? Give it the good stuff. Kendall Motor Oil, pour it in and pour it on. It's the push in your pickup, the zap in your seat. Point Syracuse lead down to one. Well, Robert Bricky just electrified this house. Good step through the lane, jumper, and then you asked me if Bobby Hurley could be entrusted with the basketball as a freshman. My answer in those pictures. Gorgeous look by the rookie, but Bricky on fire. 32 to 17, Syracuse led. It's now 42 to 41. And this is where leadership's essential. Stevie as the point guard. You might look for Billy Oldway. Dangerous pass. Ellis is throwing a couple questionable ones. Leitner got the block on Johnson. Tipped out of bounds. New ball. <laughs> Billy Owens may have to come out a little bit and help out at the guard spot. Get things organized for Syracuse. But you remember Derek. I would like to see Allah have it if I'm a Duke follower. Anderson, a little room. Tries to leave it for Leitner, but he stepped on the line. We had that corner turn to the knee. He sure did. Early, right up to meet Thompson. And they talk about easy schedules and guys like to get their club ready. I think this game really helps both clubs. Find out right away what you have to work on. Thompson. In the lane, he got hit on the way through. Ala Abdulnabi picks up just his first. Stevie Weaving, pretty good. Good comeback. Obviously, you don't 
go to the final four as often as Duke does with mirrors. But uh, Michael Shashevsky, just uh, you know, the, the guy that has done a great job at Army. Of course, here at Duke, uh, kids believe in him. And, Go out and give everything they have, and he's limited as we noted with the injuries to his big people. Stevie Thompson now 0 for 3 at the free throw line. Great, great kid. Happy go lucky. Oh, he's a terrific kid. Yeah, he is. And you just feel for him. And this charity strike is uh, like getting a needle. Holman, though, takes the rebound over the top of Leitner. Almost winces on that free throw line. Inside, Hurley the tip away. Henderson, Owens back. Owens stripped him. Rookie got it, rejected by Ellis, I believe. Hurley takes it, leaves it. Rookie again. Robert Rookie has owned the second half. Duke by one. Even that pass, the crowd's got them rattled. Owens pull up on the baseline. No Coleman, an offensive board. Thompson looks to spin, and he's hitting the lane. I thought they were going to give it to Anderson. They're going to give it to Bricky. Deserves a rest. Hey, Michael, we get the best seats for this one. Toe to toe. Both clubs again early with the penetration and getting himself squared up. Robert Bricky. Terrific block. They want a goaltending just before that. I believe it was Derek Coleman. Second foul. Listen to the hand from Berkey. Billy McCaffrey takes his place. Oh, this little low right now helps Jim Beheim at Syracuse. Trying to get some things organized. They either have a problem with the shot clock or referees down at the Duke bench. the rim maybe oh I see the net is extended I know you never had that problem in your school yard no you never had nets they were stolen before <laughs> before they got in that position Stevie Thompson at the free throw line again Duke with their first lead of the game coming in 15 58 to go from the 32 17 point Outscored Syracuse by 16. Perseverance. They need. Both clubs have that attack mentality, don't they? That the lends excitement. And he gets the roll on the second one. The orange back up by one. McCaffrey comes up shooting, drops it down, and gets a foul from Johnson. That's what he's known for. Quick set play, screen down. Square yourself, and that's number three, Michael? Yes, it is. Mm. They do not let you relax. Syracuse now defensively not ready to deny. Good down screen as Greg Kubiak set his man. Mm. Johnson and Coleman both with three for Syracuse. No one for Duke has three. has yet to miss a free throw this year. Michael Edwards will check in. Johnson goes out for Syracuse. Duke by two. I think they've got to establish a power game again. Owen spinning. The crowd wanted to push off. I'm spinning. Little leader won't go out. Go Nobby big for the board. Gets it up to Leitner. Hurley wants it and lost it off his foot out of bounds. Uncharacteristic mistake. He's looking to make the play. But Leitner wisely gave it up. Get the big guys involved now. Michael Edwards at the point. And he kicks it back out. Thompson's turn around on the baseline for two. Pretty good ride out by McCaffrey as well. Tied at 46. A lot of Syracuse guys standing up on defense right now. That's a sign of fatigue. Abdul Hobby. Holman comes down with the loose ball rebound. He'll bring it up himself. Now he leaves it for Edwards. Yeah. Foul on Thompson off the 
ball. Push off on McCaffrey. A little frustrated. Stevie was ridden out on his jumper that he made earlier and vented his emotion. First foul on Steve Thompson, fourth on Syracuse, two on Duke this half. Nice play there. You see that? Stevie just slapped hands with McCaffrey. Ricky back in. Ricky, Kubek, McCaffrey, Leitner, and Hurl. One senior on the floor for Duke. Hurley can't kick it back out as he gets swallowed with the Syracuse ball. Now what Bobby will do as the year progresses at the end of the year, that's not a mistake that he would look. He was looking for the cutter, and maybe in high school you can see through the, the bodies. They're too big here. Fan dribble and bring it back out. Duke at 60%. Syracuse had 42 shots in that first half, only getting six off here in the first five minutes. Thompson, no tip, no. Another tip, no. Late near tough rebound, and he lost it. Where is Derek Coleman, and it's not his fault. He's got to touch the ball, Michael. And he is a legitimate top two, three draft pick. He's not touching it. Too many other people. Kicks it back out. Edwards launches one. Back up. Manning for two. Syracuse, it's a little bit just like throw it up and go get it. Derek was very smart though. You never shot kicked it out. Early. Nice look for Leitner. That's where he can do some damage in the middle of the floor with the penetration. Really, every one of his passes is so catchable. And right, that's right, on the money and catchable. But the defense has to react now. They can't pitch C. Thompson way over. No way you can help your partner Edwards. Leitner with the strong send it in. Leitner goes to the bench. Edwards the push off. They got away with it once. He can't get around Hurley. No. No, he's got him positioned beautifully, taking away the dribble lane. Beheim encouraging his freshman. Hurley the quick step the other way, a little pull up. Coleman outlet to Edwards. See the pinch there? Nice play by Bricky. Helped Hurley. Well, Robert Bricky's had a sensational game. Manning strong to the bucket for two more. Get it inside Syracuse. But down this end, I think they ought to let Hurley turn the corner. And if not, try and get Durick. This is got. He's got Bricky now. I mean, that's the, now they're just switching on the exchange, Mike. They clear aside a bit for him. Now he comes top of the key, Bricky. Good look for Abdul Nabi. What a pass by Bricky. What else can Robert do? Everything they needed. Tied at 50. Owen spinning strong to the hoop. Finds Manning on a cut for two. Richard Manning with six quick points here in the second half. And very alert on the cut as the dribbler went baseline. McCaffrey. Oh, he can shoot it, can he? <laughs> Mike, you better not put your head down. You're going to miss count. Manning again. Two more. No offensive foul. Are they going to count it or no? Wait a second. You just let that one go. No basket. no basket. Michael, anything under the rim, let it go. Oh, well, just play. They're big guys. That's three on Manning, sixth on Syracuse, just two on Duke here, second half. Once you set the tone early with a fall down, you'll never regain it. It's just a uh, good, strong move by Manning. Abdul Nabi couldn't handle that pass. A little high from Henderson. Johnson and Ellis come back in for Syracuse. Manning and Owens go out. And they forced that one with Coleman on him. And it was a turnover. Sometimes you try and do it and it works or backfires against you. Caffrey now chasing Edwards. Nearly picked off. Edwards comes up firing. Rebound loose. Ellis leaves it for Thompson. Thompson spins in the lane. Air ball. But Syracuse 
will keep it as Duke couldn't control underneath. We're going to get a timeout. 11.55 to go. It's time. The 1990 Dodge Spirit. Popular Mechanics is called the Spirit ES, the best American car in this class. When you compare it to the competition, Spirit has the longest powertrain warranty, most rear seat leg room, and the lowest price, making Dodge Spirit the best car in its class. And with up to $750 cash back, a great value now gets even better. Hurry, get your Dodge Spirit as low as $99.95 now. I said, put on some steaks and get the queen a butt light. Oh. For clean, fresh taste, one light outshines them all. Butt light. Henry, they're pop tops. Because everything else, oh, is just a light. 52 all, Robert Bricky doing a little bit of everything, Bill. Anything you need here, the drawing of the defense, the alert bounce pass, and a la with the easy finish. And we talked about Billy Owens, great ability, Manny alertly splitting the defense with a cut. No one's with the head up, finding him. Ricky, six assists to go along with his 19 points. And Owens with a dozen hasn't scored in the second half. Edwards trying to leave it, and Leighton was waiting for it. Coleman was never able to get position. Edwards just brought the ball out and got organized. It is Bricky. Looks to go on Johnson. And offensive foul as Bricky had the right arm out. Mm. Number three on Bricky. How much more you can do, Robert, but smile. So Bricky, the first of the Blue Devils with three. And the way he's playing, he's extremely pivotal. Putting it on the floor. We'll pull up jumper is short. Coleman kind of tipping. Abdo Nabi, a strong rebound. Finds McCaffrey. Mike Shusevsky really yo yo on his players. Getting plenty of early, ready to get back in now. Leitner, turnaround jumper, and he drains it. Nine for Christian Leitner. Well, their confidence is soaring, isn't it? Duke by two. Henderson nearly got a steal. Pops out. There's the high low. Over the top to Coleman. They Pretty. find him this time. They waited for the set to develop. They have been impatient. Really rushing, Mike. Henderson now will run the offense till Hurley gets back. Leitner. Same play. <laughs> He just blessed hey, himself. He's going to run that play a little more often. <laughs> well, Christian got the right arc on it. He kept a straight face the whole time, too, as Thompson answers quickly. 56 apiece. Back and forth we go with 10 minutes to go in the game. Henderson leaves it late for two more. Just gambling outside, fatigue defensively showing right now. Thompson takes it in. Tough move, and he got the bucket and a foul. Leitner, number three. On the slide by, boy, he, he got himself over there, but Stevie maneuvers and bewilders the more often you see him perform. So Leitner and Ricky with three, Coleman, Johnson, and Manning with three. Thompson, a leading Syracuse scorer with 16 steps to the line. Missed the free throw, but he got a hand in on Leitner and took it away. Coleman wants to go to the hoop, won't go, tip no. Back to Coleman again, way short with the jumper. Ball must be slippery, Mike. Leitner finally gets it. Now Hurley comes back for it. They're all squeezing and re-squeezing. Thompson out 
on Henderson. Owens over on Bricky. The screen across. Bricky, nice move. Gets the roll. <laughs> A lot of attention inside as they exchange box to box offensively. And Bricky took advantage. 21 for Bricky. Thompson thought about three. Now kick it back to Edwards. Ellis didn't fill quickly enough. Owens, a leaner. Can't bank it home. The tip goes. Derek in position. Coleman. He's got a dozen. Now he's maneuvering his man pretty well now. It's up to Ellis and Owens to fill that high post and then make the pass. Leitner. Ellis before the move. Three on him, Mike. Number three on Ellis. Gives him number six. Now that's the limit. Number seven. It's a long time to put a team like Duke on the line. 8.39 to go in the game. Kubek coming in. Manning's going to come back in for Ellis. Until Nobby goes to the Duke bench. Conversely, with Duke with only four, that's Syracuse advantage. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> might well be. Six eleven sophomore. Oh. And make those freebies. Eighty percent coming in. One man. The two-point lead, down seven at the half, down 15 in the first half. Just a tremendous comeback. Manning squares up and misses. Early the rebound. They played that very well down on the box on Coleman. Manning can get a little closer to the hole. Henderson. Owens just lets it go out of bounds. Syracuse ball. Well, that was the hammer they were looking for. Huh? Three to make it five. Now, Jimmy beheim has been running the high-low. Maybe he'll pull a string a little bit here. Thompson, Owens, Coleman, Johnson, and Manning on the floor for Syracuse. Thompson, Hurley right there with them. Steve takes it anyway, and he got a foul from Hurley. And now Bobby Hurley's got three. Yeah, he's awfully close to getting that basketball, too. Yeah, he really was. Wasn't he? You mentioned earlier his ability to take away the dribble path. It takes a lot of effort. Duke 13 of 15 from the line. Syracuse 4 of 9. 8.03 to play. Thompson has 16, averaging 21 a game. As you can see, he struggles at the strike. We knew he missed that one before. Remember, he ran it down. I don't know how he came up with it, but he's the first to know. <laughs> Did I pull that string? Or uh oh. Leitner takes down the miss. Duke looks like going to work it a little yeah, bit. A little, a little motion, Mike signal. It's a 2 1 2 set. They got a clear for Bricky. Because if you deny, they'll back cut. So they're going to work a little clock. If you make a mistake, make you pay for it. Good pick, Krzyzewski shortening the game. Yep. And with that bench, uh, the lack of big people, not a bad move. And, and eight. Early finds Leighton. Looking for a shot with five. Leans in. No. Rebound to Thompson. Kicks it off to Owens. Owens wants to take it himself, does. And do a foul from Henderson on the way through, and he now has three. The glider. Billy Owens is a glider. Great body control, anticipating the step in, and that great ability to dribble. They use the left hand and head and shoulder fake. A lot of guys just dribble and charge. Owens at the line for two. Yeah. Even the 83% free throw 
free throw shooters miss. That's why this man's thin. I mean, he's got to sit there all these years and worry whether it'll make free throws. Owens knocks it down, his first points of the second half. We are tied at 62. Don't go away. This is it, the event you've been waiting for. It's Targeteer's inventory clearance sale. Right now, you can get hunting and fishing gear at drastically reduced prices. And the wall-to-wall -wall savings are being passed on to you. Targeteers have slashed prices on bows, arrows, hunting equipment, fishing gear, and clothing. Everyone's a winner at the Targeteers inventory clearance sale. Targeteers, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey, 843-7788. I don't know what's wrong with these kids today. Kids, who can understand anything they say? Noisy, crazy, sloppy, lazy loafers. While we're on the subject, as long as people keep making kids, we'll keep making Dodge Caravans. Why is Caravan so popular? Just ask the families that ride them. What's the matter with kids? Look at Kira! We're back in Greensboro. The ACC Big East Challenge Week continues here on ESPN, and there's plenty of basketball coming up tomorrow. Villanova and Virginia, the number five seeds in this challenge, will play at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. And then North Carolina and Georgetown, the number one seeds. First time these two teams have met since the historic matchup in 82 in the NCAA championship game. It's 3-2 ACC. And I'm going to Jersey tomorrow. Catch those games. Leitner, Leitner won't go down, but he drew a foul. Manning, I think, will get it. And if it's Manning, it's four. Late run now by Christian Leitner. Going to him a little bit. Takes the pressure off of Robert Bricky and the guards. Manning the first with four. Leitner has been money in the bank at the free throw line. They're just very good. 88 for him. I mentioned 80 for the team coming in. He keeps you tough all night long. Duke back up by two. And he comes out high. Nearly tipped away. Abdel Nabi to reach in. Jimmy Beheim with a new look, Mike. Uh, new, just switch something up there. A little shuffle cutting in the shape up, duck in by the big guy, Derek Coleman, and Duke was not ready for it. And Duke piling up the fouls in the last minute and a half here over the limit as Ellis is going to come back in and Manning will go out. Coleman will step to the line. He's got a dozen. He does have a great stroke, always has had it. He doesn't pay attention to that contagious theory of free throw shooting. Two big ones right there, knocks it up at 64. Last one with the ball wins. Mm -hmm, maybe, we've seen a lot of those. Tenth tie of the game. Abdul Nabi inside, takes it back out, leans in, and he got a foul off Owens, I think, this time. Well, he put is, him in the three club. He's been aggressive. Billy Owens caught behind. I didn't think Oliver was going to take that one, but he challenged. Seems like we can't have a trip without a foul. No. Now right here, he's got Derek on the high side. Billy comes over. Unfortunately for him, he's doing the right thing, helping out, gets nailed for it. Abdul Nabi, 71% free throw shooter. Senior out of Bloomfield, New Jersey. Now Stevie Thompson has to be alert now because Bobby Hurley's going to pressure him, and he's got to pass the ball to the wingman when he's free as they bring the ball up the floor. Great denial by Henderson. Excellent denial. He's right top of the screen. 
Owens over the top. Abdul Nabi got a piece of it. Great defense by Allah. Not a good look, though. Thompson steals it back the other way, goes hard into the table. And he gets back up. That was Timmy Higgins, the official, yelling to check he was all right. Thompson takes it right in the middle and gets a finger roll. Just jumped over people. Over Christian Leitner, no less. He's all right, I guess, Timmy. <laughs> Syracuse by one. Anderson. To keep the big guys active inside. Ellis came over the top to knock it away. It'll still be good ball. Coleman was ready to help out. Nice play by Ellis. The Duke really keeps you active. A lot of exchanges inside. Spread the floor outside. Ellis takes the baseline. A little different. They've been coming over the inside. Henderson catches and fires. Hits a three. That's when you were wondering where Phil Henderson had been. <laughs> he arrived. But you got to know he's a stroker and play up on him. Thompson kicks it back out. Ellis looking over the top for Coleman. Owens will try one. He knocks down a three. Inside around. The glider. 16 for Billy Owens. These are two very good basketball oh, teams. They will, they? Be, they will be there at post time in March. Henderson again. Got it again. Oh, there you go, Billy Owens. Duke by two. Owens was pretty close to him on that jumper, too. Five. Five second count. There's that pressure of the ball. Duke, a chance now for a four-point lead. It would be huge in the second half. Haven't seen many of them. First time full court pressure now. Rotation at it. Duke shooting the lights out. And they get a timeout as they were trapped in the corner. 4.32 to go. Mike Krzyzewski's club up by a couple. It will be the most ambitious project in NASA history. It will launch colonies to Mars and man into the 21st century. Yet the NASA space station will not be directed from Houston or Cape Canaveral, but instead from Reston, Virginia. Call us and we'll tell you why. But beware of the time difference. For although it's 1989 where you are, in Virginia, it's 2001. The 1990 Dodge Spirit. Popular Mechanics has called the Spirit ES the best American car in this class. When you compare it to the competition, Spirit has the longest powertrain warranty, most rear seat leg room, and the lowest price, making Dodge Spirit the best car in its class. And with up to $750 cash back, a great value now gets even better. Hurry, get your Dodge Spirit as low as $99.95 now. Georgetown center of attention, Alonzo Mourning clashes with North Carolina. Right after Virginia battles Villanova, the ACC Big East Challenge Week concludes tomorrow night, live on ESPN. Sports Center after the game. Two of the top relievers in the National League change teams. Three world champion boxers. A live debate about Leonard and Durant. Is it a real fight? And divisional leaders going nose to nose in the NBA. I'm Bob Lee. Dan Patrick and I after the game. We'll see you then. Still more of this terrific ACC Big East Challenge week to come. Villanova and Virginia tomorrow night. 7 o'clock. That to be followed by Georgetown and North Carolina at nine and round by round updates of Leonard and Durant. Stick with ESPN and you're getting the best in college basketball this week, that's for sure. 432. 71-69 Duke. backs off the pressure. Uh -huh. Because they get a new 10 seconds to bring it up. That's a rule that I think should be addressed. Here's a nice alley oop. Oh. Ricky can't get it down. Boy. You know, something you said, the guts of a burglar early, <laughs> right after the timeout. He found them, too, just couldn't convert. Pass is right with money. Again, early giving Thompson all sorts of trouble. Much better play.
post defense. Owens wants to take Ricky a little leaner. No, Leitner, a big rebound, and he lost it. He has squeezed the ball maybe too hard a number of times. And Mike Krzyzewski saying squeeze it. I think he's doing it too hard. Owens finds Ellis. Owens wants to post up because he's got Hurley. Quick turnaround. Two. That's tied at 71. Great alertness by Stevie Thompson. Recognized. 18 for Owens. Hurley. Ricky. Good up fake. Stripped by Owens. Thompson ahead to Johnson. Abdul Nabi's back. Johnson took it in anyway. Tip no. Second tip, yes. Owens or Thompson, whoever you want to give it to. Ellis there as well. A lot of white shirts. Still haven't decided who to give it to. Not that it matters. Syracuse by two. Ellis working hard defensively, and then the screen away by Leitner, and then a repop. Leitner, a little ball fake, takes it in. Uchin foul. They'll give it to Ellis. He's got four. Good work by Leitner. The screen away, and then he didn't stay asleep. A lot of guys just bail out. He popped right back to the basketball. 3.05 to go. Jim Behan, Mike Krzyzewski, both have spent most of this game on their feet. I think you'll get Jimmy to admit how good this game is for him. No. <laughs> I think it's a great benefit. A lot of learning goes on in these situations. Late in with his 18th point. Three apiece, 3.05 to go, and it has been a great basketball game in the month of December. Thompson looks and finds Ellis, his lean is wild. Johnson's there for the rebound. He throws up a hook at short. Maricki's got it. Nearly stripped by Coleman. Now Dolnabi finds Hurley. Late in the clapping for the ball. Now Duke will reset. Now Hurley won't give it to him at the end of the year. He'll just hold it to it himself. Two will pop out and then a shape up in the lane. Krzyzewski calling the play off the bench. Anderson finds Abdul Nabi over the top. Good play by Ellis to slap it away. <laughs> he has really worked defensively in that lane. I mean, fronting, three quartering. Duke is active, so you just don't relax at all. That's great pursuit and greed and effort. 18 seconds on the shot clock. 2.16 to play. Ricky takes it in the lane. The leaner, no. Underneath, Owens just had to save it in bounds and did. Syracuse the ball and a chance for the lead with 1.55 to go. A little double screen for Billy Owens. Ellis comes high, nearly lost it. Leitner got him over the top of the head. And really didn't need it. Knows it that far from the hole. You want to pressure the passer so they can't dump it down, but don't overreact. Number four for Leitner, but it puts a 50% free throw shooter on the line. You think this was by design? Oh, you know, it's not by Christian Leighton right, with those foul problems. No. Christian may tell Mike Krzyzewski afterwards. It may turn out all right. Ron Ellis. Big shot. He's there, a great player at St. John's. He was. For Joe Lepchik, Louis was on the bench. Fit in with the Syracuse club. One of two. Here we go. Syracuse by one. Might try and get it inside to get to the free throw line. Chris, you don't want Leighton out that far. They got Ricky, him now. They got him. He's right. And Coleman is there for the hard foul. What an excellent opportunity cut. Leighton saw the double up. Right to the box. Nothing more Derek Coleman could do. This is the ultimate challenge. And both reacted beautifully. 
making sure. Of course, the difference is the excellent at the line, 89. Living up to it tonight. Needs this one for a tie with 128 to go. Timmy Higgins just did a nice thing. He won Henderson in the lane as they threw the ball to Lane for a violation. Oh. Missed them both. Abdelnabi there. They got him for a shove. Yeah, Mike. they did. Not too much of a complaint, although Mike Krzyzewski up by Allah or Mike. I'm not sure who would be shot. Homer? I believe so. It was his side. And Derek went to get a towel, so it looks like he's headed for the free throw line. <laughs> 128, one point Syracuse lead. And Coleman a chance to put some serious pressure on Duke. He's got a pretty good looking stroke. He, he really, he always has had one. One thing about Duke, Mike, as you know, the quickness of the dribble or the pass as they come up on offense. So they can get a lot of shots up in a short period of time. Mike always looks calm on that Duke bench. Coleman got them both. 16 for Derek. Here comes Hurley. His club down three. 125 to go. Thompson to meet him top of the key. Hurley throws it up. Rebound Coleman underneath. A little bit of a flyer by Bobby Hurley. They cleared the middle for him. Coleman will try to keep the ball and give it to Owens. I think the two of them will try to keep it. They'll keep Stevie Thompson away. They should figure out giving him one. Coleman putting it on the floor. 55 seconds to go. 24 in the shot clock. Ellis, but Leitner can't foul That's right. him. Can't give one. Ricky Owens. There's the one again. Thompson, and he calls an immediate timeout as soon as he gets the ball. Than anybody. 42 seconds to go. 13 on the shot clock when we get back. Syracuse by three. Thank you. And so, Mayor, these swiftly flowing currents create energy, which in turn creates power, which in turn brings electric light to every house in the valley. That's very impressive, gentlemen. Thank you, sir. But the contract calls for bringing bud light to the valley. No wonder we're over budget. Bud Light won't fill you up and never lets you down. Which in turn keeps the Bud Light cold. Because everything else is just a light. The following fine items were purchased with Visa cards last year, but not paid for. <laughs> the Visa Our Treat Sweepstakes. Now all you have to do to enter is use your Visa card. And almost anything you buy just may be our treat. And the more you use your card, the more chances you have to win. So why pay with anything else? A lot of events in sports don't live up to the hype. You cannot say that about the ACC Big East Challenge. As it's 76-73 Syracuse with the ball, 42 seconds on the clock, 13 on the shot clock. Owens set to inbound, not an easy task. Now, uh, Michael, you might be tempted to let them run it down and take the, uh, you know, go for the last shot, but I think they got to give one on this club. It's just the kind of a team now. Coleman, Abdul Nabi called with the jump in. It's only a three-point differential. Good non-call there too on the fall. They're just not crazy about it when they hit the deck and they give it to him. They say he initiated the contact. He, he wasn't never tricked. got his feet. He wasn't tricked into the call, I should say. So Coleman, who has responded at the line so far. McCaffrey comes in as Mike Krzyzewski looks for some outside shooting. Now nobody down there for Syracuse. Now what this does enables Duke to get any miss, no question, but also to bring the ball up very quickly. Missed it. Duke alive. Up to McCaffrey. Leans in. Won't go. Rebound. Loose. Henderson's got it. Tipped away. Owens committed a foul. 
Well, his fourth. McCaffrey put it up there soft, though, didn't he? Let them go after it. 29 seconds on the clock. Abdul Nabi comes back in. And Phil Henderson steps to the free throw line. <laughs> Every time I look around, I see numbers like 80. That's right. Yeah. Last year, 75. This year, 81 so far. Both clubs have to be alert for the miss now. Syracuse has to be alert for the pressure on the main goal. And it's Stevie Thompson's got to be careful because Bobby Hurley's going to pressure that dribble lane. Ellis comes down with the miss. It's a two-point game. They get it in the hands of Owens. Long pass to Thompson. Give it to him. You got to give it to him. Skip pass. Owens picked off by Henderson. He goes. Got the layup. We're tied at 76. Unbelievable. And Syracuse calls tie. With 10 seconds to go. Oh. Oh. Nice quiet couple of nights in Greensboro, huh? It's been unbelievable. A tip of the hat to Dave Gavin and Gene Clark. Otherwise, we wouldn't be enjoying this. Trying to give the foul, Stevie Thompson looped the ball because to make sure he was the look. guy. Here you go. And the loop just over the outstretched hands. Billy Owens. Whoa, whoa. He may have been on the line. Whoa. And look at this concentration and correct English by Henderson. That, that was right in front of us. Well, <laughs> good thing we don't have instant replays in college basketball, isn't it? Well, uh, this has been a delightful couple of days down here to see these wonderful teams perform. And uh, this is the heavyweight division right here. Both clubs going toe to toe, Michael, and uh, I'm impressed the way Duke, with their difficulties, have hung in. Oh, well, with Duke in that first half, I mean, they just really looked out of it as they were down by 15, and you can't give enough credit to Mike Krzyzewski the way he brought his club back. And again, officials can't be everywhere. It would certainly appear he was out of bounds, but hey, why spoil a good time? 10 seconds to go. 76 to 76. Duke with two timeouts left, Syracuse with one. A ton of people with four fouls if we head for overtime. And right now they got the four cross. Christian Leighton is the free safety. All right, Coleman to inbound. Finds Owens. Owens trying to get around Bricky. Does. Billy underneath. Johnson throws it up. A foul is called with three seconds to go. I believe on Leitner. And that'll be five. Uh, Owens got banged in the backcourt. I wasn't. I'm it's, not so sure that was a wise move by Robert Bricky, but he got away with it. And but Syracuse, to their credit, covered a lot of ground in seven seconds. What a pay. Right here, the double chuck by Bricky. Now, Billy Owens still with the head up. Oh, does he see the floor? Gorgeous look. And Christian Leitner has fouled out of the game, and a brilliant game it was for the sophomore. 19 points for Leitner. Mike looks like he wants the timeout. They haven't called it yet. Well, he's got the 30 seconds on the substitution to make Johnson wait a bit. David struggling as we've talked about at 54. And now Duke uses one of their two remaining timeouts. They will have one. Syracuse has one. Three seconds on the clock. 76 apiece. <laughs> uh, Mike mentioned to me not having Pete out then. I'm sure he'd like to have Pete right now alongside of him to help him through this tough situation. But Syracuse reacting like champions with that particular pass. That's a pressure-filled pass that Billy Owens made. And a catch by Johnson and try and got a shot up with a chance to go in. So right now, just to sit back, see what Mr. Johnson can do. And I, I'm just impressed how quickly they were able to get it up. And as if you need more, there is more to come in this Big East ACC Challenge. 
not only do we have games coming up tomorrow night from the Meadowlands that we've been telling you about all night, but come January, 7 o'clock, Clemson against North Carolina State. And then at 9, Syracuse will take on Pittsburgh, who can really get it up and down the floor and score some points in the shootout they had with Georgia Tech on Monday night. Of every Wednesday night, double headers of the Big East and the ACC. The okay. home of college basketball, ESPN. Well, Michael, the home right now for David Johnson is the free throw line, and he should delay as long as he can before he steps in there. Just relax, do what he's been doing, even though he's shooting poorly. The technique takes over. It's trust your swinging golf, trust your stroke on a free throw. Jim Beheim just sitting and watching. Got the first. Ooh, the most important one. Now here again, the release from the free throw line enables Duke, in my mind, to push that ball up. Knocks down the second. A three can win it. Early. Timeout is called with one second on the clock. I tell you, they're setting the stage for a storybook ending here. Well, Jim Beheim wanting a friendly clock there. But Duke, well schooled in close games. And of course, Bobby Hurley ever alert and reacting to the bench with a quick timeout. See Mike Trangisi in the picture there. He doesn't know what to do, whether to commiserate with Jim Beheim or agree with the timer. I love the officials from both the ACC and the Big East who have to sit so stoically and watch these games. <laughs> uh, and don't forget, after this coming up tonight, Bob Lee will be by with everything going on on a busy sports night. Sports Center for all the information. Dan Patrick alongside. That's coming up after the game tonight. One second to go, 78-76, Syracuse by two, but Duke has a shot. Now, Leighton are not in the game, so that eliminates that lob, but you gotta think of Ricky with that ability to juke his man and then cut to the goal, and of course, the three-pointer would win it. So they may have, they may look for the lob or the deep pass. That's not a bad idea. No, not at all, because you might initiate some contact yep. as well. But if they don't get the lob, you may see a long three. And Jim Beheim and company will hold their breath, as well as the Duke people. And they got McCaffrey in the game, too, for that very reason. Kubek is going to make the inbounds pass. Ricky, Henderson, McCaffrey, and Hurley all on the floor. Kubek finds McCaffrey, and it was partially blocked by LaRon Ellis. And Syracuse has evened up this ACC Big East Challenge and just hangs on to their number one ranking in the country, 78 to 76. The Syracuse Orange men in a struggle win it against a very gutsy Duke Blue Devil team. Extraordinary effort by both teams this early. A lot of fun for two days. It sure has. For my partner, Bill Raffi, I'm Mike Woman for a final time from Greensboro back to John Saunders. John. Thanks a lot, gentlemen. Four of the six games have gone right down to the wire. One went to overtime, and we are tied at three, heading to the final day of the ACC Big East Challenge. And coming up, it should be a great day. Villanova against Virginia at 7 o'clock Eastern time. Tim Brando and Dick Vitale. And then the top seeds, Georgetown and the Hoyas, ranked number three in the nation against number 17, North Carolina and the Tar Heels. And a reminder, tomorrow, Uno Mas, we will have round-by-round -round coverage of Leonard and Duran three. So stay with us. Plenty more to come. Sports Center is ahead with Bob Lee and Dan Patrick. Thanks for watching. Good night. We'll see you again tomorrow night as we continue trying to break this tie in the ACC Big East Challenge. ESPN's NCAA Basketball, the ACC Big East Challenge, is brought to you by Braun Electric Shavers. It's through superior design that superior performance can be achieved. By the exciting, innovative, unconventional new spirit of Dodge. And by Bud Light. Everything else is just a light.